people I know when I was in high school, like before when I first got into it, they were all like, oh, so you're gonna put on size now, like you must be on steroids and that. But the real thing is, is you get in the gym and you work your ass off and put in the work, you're gonna see the results. It's getting off the couch and going putting in the work when you don't feel like it. Cause even the, the worst days getting in the gym, you might think it's the worst workout, but those are the ones that make you grow. Ones, yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm in here just trying to get it. <laughs> Wait, this is the last one, right? Yeah, last one. All right. Thank God. Oh, my legs. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, so fresh to call it Listerine. Mr. Clean in his blunder. Got a misdemeanor. On the squats mostly, just for growth, because my legs are so hard to grow. So I've been throwing probably like probably maybe eight to like ten sets of squats in, and I'll go heavy, try to overload like my last like three or four sets for like five reps for per set, which is probably about like I'll go like three fifteen maybe three seventy five. Okay. But or I'll try. I've been trying to get up to four or five for three, so and that's been helping too. So. And so like for your reps and sets though, do you? Do you always keep them the same? Do you go higher sometimes? Uh, I switch up since I do legs twice a week. So one day I'll just come in and go heavy, heavy weight, low reps. And the next, the next day, I'll come in and just do focus on reps, light, squeeze it out, just to gotcha. get that good pump. Gotcha. But, so for this, for this squat session, like what, what are we, what are we actually focusing on right now? Uh, we're gonna go on this squat, like as far as like stance wise. Uh, stance wise, I see. I'm more comfortable about shoulder width, kind of just kind of point the toes out a little bit because you don't want you don't want your uh, knees to buckle in obviously when you're squatting so you want to keep a good good solid stance, always like a high bar, and good solid stance, you're pointing them out just a bit, and deep squat, got to get that depth for the growth. <laughs> The dang party just got started. <laughs> now the party started. Look at that. The Quadzilla, the Quadzilla man himself. Ooh, it's about to go down. Jumped in. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Shit. It's about to get nasty. <laughs> Can I even squat the same rack as you? Or I <laughs> <laughs> look, I, look. I don't even feel like I belong on the same same side of the weight room as these oh guys right now. I feel like I gotta like leave. <laughs> Jeez. Be the man. You gotta beat the man. Probably about two, two ten with just rice, and that's not counting with like sweet potatoes and that. 
So I'd probably say I'm probably about 300 grams of carbs, but I'm getting. Probably, I know that's a normal day. Yeah, I'd say normal. What's getting, like your lows? What's your low look like? Uh, probably like 150, 200. But okay. I've been like just to get a good workouts, and I've been really carb loading for sure. Trying to keep my meals about five or five a day with a shake, so yeah. count that as six. Just keeping them pretty split out, about three hours apart, three four hours apart per meal, and it's been doing me pretty good. Trying to actually get my schedule back in the morning too. I right. feel feel a little more energized. So I'm like with um, with like your like your carving, like do you do like lagging body part days where you have you up the carbs, or it just depends on what you're doing? Or yeah, what? Uh, legs is one thing I really up the carbs in before I come in for sure just to give me that extra oomph since that's the that's the rough day as legs uh, other than that no I usually keep it about the same coming Every through day. yeah I know um, yeah and your protein macro about what uh, you s so it's the same way you don't really you, mess with protein macro yeah not too much because uh, then what is it Two or three grams, probably for 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 a bodybuilder, yeah. Yeah, for per pound, per pound or per something pound, like that. Per pound, you're supposed yeah. to do about double. Yeah. So, but for me though, I'm getting only I would say 190 to 200. Yeah, I'd probably say I'm pretty close to that too. Okay. I'm right in that range. Yeah. Then again, I mean, I only weigh like 170, so yeah. Probably, I'd probably weigh, get a little more. A you little weigh about more, yeah. two, 300. Yeah, 300 pounds. Oh, almost. Yeah, 300 pounds. Uh, <laughs> Freaking 30, 30 pump. <laughs> like, this pump was filthy. I only need to go home and take two showers. To be the man! You gotta beat the man! Look at those quads. Look at those quads. That's, so that is, that's Quadzilla. <laughs> he calls himself he calls himself King Cobra. What is it? Cobra. 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 Well, he's he's actually Quadzilla. Quadzilla. Oh shit. Turn around, K. Or yeah, turn around. Turn around, bro. And kind of like squeeze your no no no. Squ squeeze your your shoulder blades together. His back is so thick. That he freaking squeezes his shirt in between his freaking rhomboids. It's freaking insane. No, just just squeeze your shoulder blades together. <laughs> it's freaking insane, dude. Freaking hang out with monsters. I guess you gotta hang out with monsters Ain't to be one. Yet, huh? Ain't big enough. Yeah. Ain't That's the mentality big. around here, man. You ain't never big. <laughs> you, ain't never you ain't never big enough. enough. Nah. Ever. There's no such thing. No. You said your first... Uh, your first workout was what? Wait, what happened? Uh, first leg workout when I first uh, started training them hard. I was lifting with a big guy back home. And he's like, "Yeah, go ahead, uh, eat like an hour before." So I was like, "All right." <laughs> so I got a good old big old meal and go in and hit legs with them. About third set of squats. I'm at the trash can hugging it, throwing up everything <laughs> I just ate. <laughs> it's awful. So I learned not to not to eat too too close before a leg workout. So usually, what do you eat like? Before you go to the gym, like what what was that a, like typical pre workout meal look like? And uh, how long before? Uh, usually like about half an hour before I come in. Now I'll hit like two or three rice cakes with peanut butter just to get the little bit of carbs and that good fat in before I come in to help me get a good workout. I don't go too much more than that because if not, I'll get sick. <laughs> you got your meat pukey. Yeah, I don't want that. Guys, we're with Storm McDon McDonald. Um, he's a United States Air Force. EDG, right? Is yeah, I'm in that. Yeah, I'm in that. Security forces. So basically, in the Air Force, that's a um, that's a police officer, or yeah, pretty equivalent. Much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, man, we just hit a nasty leg workout. It's first time working with Storm. He is a five-star nutrition Woody Air Force Base ambassador. So one of the guys that actually goes out and he kind of like mark markets for us, and um, you know, he's wearing the T-shirts. He's got the shakers. Uh, you know, and he's he's. Uh, he's a beast in the gym, as you guys can see. Uh, but he's been really, you know, helping out the store a whole lot and getting a lot of people in there. So, um, real good dude. Look this guy up, man. I first started. It would have been, let's say, almost right before my 11th grade year. I started getting in the gym. I had a uh, my cousin actually 
Uh, he actually competes down in Florida now. He's a power lifter, and uh, he's just he's strong. But I started watching him lift, and he got me into it, and I started lifting with him. And as as you go on, and you can start to see the changes your body makes as you start getting into lifting, especially when I first started, because I hit like a good growth spurt, so I put on like 30 pounds of muscle when I started eating clean and fast, and a couple I grew a couple inches, and which. Once that happened, like I, I fell in love with it right away, and then being being a wrestler, you know, uh, coming up through high school, like my tenth grade year, I was scrawny, coming in at like 135, probably weighed 135, wow. and uh, you know, I didn't do I didn't do too good in wrestling. I was weak compared to who like other people I was competing against, and then that my junior year, I came back in at 182, and I really packed on some size, and everyone's like like heard about me coming up the 182 and there's like yeah there's no way like you're on something you know <laughs> but I was I just was in that whole off season just in the gym just trying to push myself as best as I could you know just to just to grow and I used the gym like not just to grow as like muscle wise or that but to grow as a person you know it teaches you a lot of stuff about yourself uh, you know as you as you go on uh, you know where you can push yourself to the limits you can you can reach uh, people will tell you like you can't do this you can't do that but it's the mentality coming into the gym that kept me going you know if you want something you can go out and get it you can't you don't need people telling you, you can't do something because you know you got people talking behind your back but they're behind you for a reason because uh, they're the ones trying to pull you back but you just need to go in there every single day and yeah, it might suck, but if you can go in there and say you give it 100, 110% every single day when you're in the gym, it's it's going to do something and you're going to go somewhere with it. Uh, you know, if I had the, to say uh, something to people, you know, to get them into the gym or to motivate them, but you know, you'll hear people say this all the time, but uh, you can't be afraid to fail at something. Yeah, it, it's your failures. Uh, you can't, success doesn't just come through your straight up hitting an elevator ride going to the top it's it's the roller coaster ride and it's all worth it like you have your ups and downs but that's that's the journey that's part of it is growing as a person you know and I just coming in now and I have people telling me like oh I wish I could be like you like get as big as you uh, the way you push yourself in the gym like I don't I don't see that often with people uh, you grind, you, well they'll say yeah, you grind harder than other people, you work harder, your worth ethic is just so so good compared to other people, uh, like I look up to you, to what you do, and then I have people ask me about advice, and like I love when people come up and ask me like, hey, what, what can I do to the, grow this, or what can I do, do to grow this? What do you tell them? <laughs> what, well, what do you tell them? <laughs> what do I tell them? Yeah. Well, it's, I tell them mostly to, if you have a weakness, is to focus on that weakness, especially, especially if you want to grow in an area. It's that's the best part about bodybuilding. As I have grown to love it so much, is uh, pushing yourself and and the progress you can make over time, and seeing the results that you're putting in, and knowing that what you're doing and the path you're going down is is the right one. You know, I use the gym as a, like a big stress reliever honestly you can come in and I, I tell people all the time you know if you have something going on in your life you know you got that you got those downs and stress you just come into the gym and you just unleash it on the weights because that's yep yeah, then it's gone you feel like that's what I always done it feels so much better whatever's in your life going bad just bring that into the gym release it in there because nobody can stop you and the best it's doing for you is making you grow and yeah, making you strong. Yeah, making you strong mentally and physically. And I just, it's the journey. I love it. You competed in men's physique. Um, you're actually deploying. So yeah. um, you'll, it'll give you a little bit more of an off season. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of bulking time for sure. But uh, yeah, I did my first show back in June in men's physique. I did in team, bringing my first one. 2017? Yeah, because okay. I came in at eight, 18 and I didn't know what I was doing, I'm not going to lie, you know, it's just something, eating the macros and stuff, right. not coming in with a coach, but it was probably the funnest thing I've ever done, you know, just standing out there, you know, just seeing everyone that's there that's also been in the gym, working their ass off for everything, 
and just to see them get up on the stage too and to be able to do it with my cousin and a couple buddies it was it was it was nice to do that and uh, you know I was nervous at first first like five minutes of stepping on the stage and then I went out there and with the lights just on you it just it came natural nice. to me and just nice. show a big smile and just to go at it it's, I I've learned that people's judgment doesn't doesn't mean anything it's got to have that good body confidence when you're up on stage you know uh, when I come back from deployment which will be we leave here in probably March time frame I'll be coming back in November so I'll be back for the bulking season so still. what is that about that's about what a six a month? six month rotation deployment? Okay. so when I get back from that I want to want to get on a good prep and come in in the springtime and hit a couple shows bulk time bulk time yeah yeah we'll be eating all kind of pizza <laughs> yes <laughs> Time to put so on some getting size. ready for you're gonna basically you're getting ready for a show next March. Yes. So shoot, you have a little over a year. Yeah. So that would be giving me time to grow and Let bring up my weaknesses. Begin. Yeah. Bring up my weaknesses, which definitely would be my legs right now. And that's why I've been trying to pound them about twice a week and just you now bring a bring a good solid package when I come back yes, to hit the show. So if there the was a new guy, so he came up to you and he was like, man, I you know I want to compete. Um, Never done, never done weightlifting or anything like that. You know, just brand new to the sport of bodybuilding. What one single piece of advice could you give them? Mm. Something that you wish somebody told you when you got into bodybuilding. Um, I'd tell them probably don't, don't be afraid to sacrifice. Obviously, you can't be afraid to just go in there and. As I was saying before, not being afraid to fail or whatnot at something, you know, that's where we learn from mm. is what we fail at and it's, it's coming back from that because if you, if you can fall down on your back and you're failing and you're looking up, obviously you can get up because mm. like you got to be able to, you just got to be able to push yourself. Uh, the sacrifices, like I was about to say, um, you have to be able to make sacrifices when it comes to bodybuilding uh, for sure big things you know like people ask you oh, let's go out let's go do this but but you can't just go out and drink and, you know there's some stuff you you don't want to do that can hurt your progress in the gym you don't want setbacks you only want to move forward from where you're already at and so that's for one thing for sure is I tell them don't be don't be afraid to fail at something you want to be great at and that's what bodybuilding has really taught me is trying to just grow as a person Bro. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, check this guy out, man. Storm, bro. Like the storm. Like the storm is coming. <laughs> like he's coming. Storm McDonald, man. So like if they wanted to reach you, bro, like what is what is your ID? Uh it's actually or uh Facebook or any social media. Uh my Instagram is uh McDonald, last name McDonald, then dot storm, first name. Easy. Easy. Easy to remember. Go hit that follow button. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, follow this guy. This guy's a real deal. How old are you, bro? Uh, 19. Freaking 19. <laughs> Freaking 19. Uh, All right, brother. All right. Appreciate the workout, man. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. I'll be feeling it tomorrow. Me too. Uh, yeah, Kentura, if you're watching this, bro. Um, yeah, get I, out of the gym. Your, your legs are small. <laughs> He's actually in there right now. <laughs> Later, guys. Make sure to check out my website, ejkaku.com and stay tuned for more videos.